Today, students, I will discuss about the inhibitors. I am discussing enzyme. I am discussing at the pH value that is affecting the function of enzyme. I am discussing the factors which are required for the proper functioning of enzymes. I am discussing the temperature which is required for the enzymes to do proper actions. I am discussing about the active site. I am discussing about the activation energy. I am discussing about the denaturation. And I will discuss today about the topic that inhibitors. What are inhibitors? Whenever you are doing any work, there will be a competitor. I was talking in the last sessions. Of course, there will be competitors. So substrates, when they are fighting to convert into the products, lot of competitors are there. Lot of competitors. You, you have lot of competitors in educational field. If you are player, lot of competitors. So lot of compete like uh, cricket, cricket teams have the competitors. So without competition, even in the classroom you are fighting. Um, in the classroom you are fighting to get the scores. Um, uh, in the tenth class, uh, when you, in the scoring session, I saw you people getting scores and superior. You want to become superior uh, more and more. Uh, uh, when I was doing session, it, in, even in the examination you want to become superior. So inhibitors mean some molecules become substrate fake substrate they are not the substrate basically they are the fake substrate they becomes fake substrate mean this is active site this is active site and the molecule this is the genuine molecule genuine molecule mean the genuine uh, this is the genuine uh, substrate but some molecules look like substrate mean they are exactly look like substrate their shape is also like same but they do not convert into the product in spite of attachment of genuine substrate with the active site it never take place and inhibitors which are look like substrate they attach with active site the product will not be formed so you got the definition of the inhibitors. What are the inhibitors? They look like substrate. You know there are two types of the models. Yes, you remember lock and key model of the attachment of the active site with the substrate. Lock and key model mean that shape of active site is same as shape of substrate like this one. Exactly they fit into each other like lock and key model. Similarly, Induced fit model mean that shape of active site is different. Shape of active site is different and shape of substrate is a different. But still they will fit into each other because when, sub when substrate will touch active site, active site will adjust the shape according to substrate and that's why it is called that active site is flexible. So there are two theories. Scientists are believing active site uh, may be rigid according to shape of substrate the substrate can attach So inhibitors can be explained on the basis of these two models These two models one are the type of the inhibitors are competitive inhibitors. I am talking about the competitive inhibitors the competitive inhibitors are those inhibitors they look like they look like they look like sub genuine substrate Look here, this is active site. According to lock and key model, the shape of substrate must be according to this active site. And you see the shape of substrate must be like that because it can almost fit into this structure. And one another, just like a same shape, inhibitor is present and that inhibitor can fit into this position in spite of this and when it will fit it will not change into product and it will stop the function of enzyme it will stop that chemical reaction that is the disease in our body and that is the inhibitor many inhibitors are present you know why poisons are harmful for our body like the cyanide they are the inhibitors 
they are inhibitors that's why we say poisons because they will attach with active site and after attaching with active site they will not change the active site into the product so my sons there are a lot of inhibitors in your there are a lot of competitors in your life and you have to beat them inshallah you will be able to get good marks you will be able to get your destination similarly substrates are facing facing a lot of competitors I give you one example that substrate and this is the lesson for you substrate is not losing art still because you know that uh, uh, fake substrate come and they told active side I am your substrate I am your substrate look this is the genuine substrate succinic acid succinic acid entering into active site okay it fit into this shape according to lock and key model right this is okay because the substrate is attaching with the active site perfectly it is okay acceptable and the enzyme is succinic dehydrogenase and it will change this this es complex is right according because genuine substrate is combining with the active site to form the es complex and the product will be formed and the product will be fumaric acid this is a very good example this is a very good example fumaric acid fumaric acid now look at the structure of succinic acid what is the structure of succinic acid if you see the structure of succinic acid how many carbons are present four carbons and I will uh, see the tetravalency of the carbon is fulfilled or not. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon tetravalency is fulfilled. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I should indicate. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon tetravalency. Oxygen is divalent. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 tetravalency of the carbon is completed. So C double O, C double O on both sides, C double O, C double O on both sides, you will just complete the tetravalency and no need, uh, need to remember hydrogen atom because you, you will just fulfill the valency of the carbon with adding the hydrogen. So this is the succinic acid. I, why I am teaching you this structure? Reason is that because you will find succinic acid will find exactly same structure or little different structure which is inhibitor and that is competitive inhibitor and that is harmful because active site is unable to judge a genuine substrate. You know what are the fake statements are going on uh, uh, in the society as well. Some things which are very similar and you are unable to you are going to shop one thing and he will tell you this is a genuine this is a genuine uh, object you will say it is a genuine you, the shopkeeper say will look like genuine but actually that will be copy that will be copy of that genuine object but that look like same you will be trapped you will be trapped and you may purchase and you gave the payment of genuine object or genuine anything you want to purchase from the market so what was you what was you if you uh, adjust uh, yourself in this example you was active site you was active site you went to market to purchase one thing you entered the market and you told I want genuine thing shopkeeper say this is genuine you say why this is genuine shopkeeper say this look at the shape look at the shape shape is just like genuine but that was copy shopkeeper was lying you purchased you gave the price of genuine thing it is happening you know copies are copy number one copy number two copy number mobile batteries and everything uh, copies are present so you was trapped similarly active side was trapped when succinic acid any competitor will come and active site will just think that is succinic acid but that will not be succinic acid this reaction I told you this reaction which I told you that is a genuine reaction that is not an inhibitor inhibitor I will tell you after some time but I am telling you that look at the structure of succinic acid this structure of succinic acid this structure of succinic acid in which four carbon atoms are present four carbon atoms are present and C double O group almost C double O group C double O H C double O H acid group present on both sides H is not added and CH2 CH2 is present here C double O C double O so you will find active site will find almost similar molecule but little difference active site will unable to identify that is succinic acid or the competitive inhibitors I am going yes that is the point look here this is a fumaric acid this is a fumaric acid now see 
हाउ मेनी कार्बन एटम्स आर प्रेजेंट दिस इज़ ए फ्यूमेरिक एसिड ओके जी हाइड्रोजन टू हाइड्रोजन वार रिमूव फ्राम फ्राम द सक्सेनिक एसिड एंड फ्यूमेरिक एसिड वॉज द प्रोडक्ट मीन रिएक्शन वॉज सक्सेसफुल वाई रिएक्शन वॉज सक्सेसफुल बिकॉज सबसेट वॉज द जैन वन वट इज द नेम ऑफ द जैन वन सबसेट सक्सेनिक एसिड वाई सक्सेनिक एसिड वॉज एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई बाई एक्टिव साइड बिकॉज एक्टिव साइड वॉज फिक्सड एंड वॉज एबल टू एडजस्ट दस टू आइडेंटिफाई द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सक्सेनिक एसिड द एक्टिव साइड कैन आइडेंटिफाई द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सक्सेनिक एसिड ईजीली सो हेयर वॉट इज हैपनिंग हेयर वॉट इज हैपनिंग टू हाइड्रोजन ऑफ सक्सेनिक सक्सेनिक एसिड विल बी रिमूव एंड फ्यूमेरिक एसिड विल बी फाउंड मीन प्रोडक्ट इज फाउंड आफ्टर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द ई एस कॉम्प्लेक्स इज दैट द डिस्कशन ऑफ कंपिटेटिव इन दिटर नो आई एम टेलिंग यू सिंपल केमिकल रिएक्शन नो आई एम एन ए पोजिशन नो आई एम एन ए पोजिशन टू टेल यू अबाउट आई एम एन ए पोजिशन टू टेल यू अबाउट द कंपिटेटिव इन दिटर सो कंपिटेटिव इन दिटर यू सी मेलोनिक एसिड this is the malonic acid villain succenic acid is a hero because that is the genuine substrate malonic acid is a villain why villain malonic acid just make the structure just make the structure like succenic acid it is not true succenic acid but structure of malonic acid resemble the succenic acid structure of malonic acid resemble the succenic acid due to which active site is unable to trap just like you went to market and you was telling give me genuine object but you was trapped you was unable to identify why you was trapped why you was unable to identify this is a genuine or not genuine because shopkeeper is telling you another thing is that shopkeeper told you shape of this thing is like genuine so this is genuine similarly active site see the shape of this structure is just like succenic acid so maybe this is succenic acid disadvantage of this disadvantage of this attachment of the malonic acid with the active site is that malonic acid will not be able to convert into fumarate reaction will not be successful that is a competitive inhibitor that is a competitive inhibitor and it will stop the chemical reactions you can see the difference between structure of the uh, structure of the malonic acid look c double o c double o present on both sides c double o c double o bonds present on both sides c h h is present in one side difference is there only one c h h is lacking here c h if you see the structure what is the difference between succenic acid and malonic acid look here malonic acid lack one carbon one carbon one carbon and two a hydrogen yani one hydrogen must be there and it becomes succenic acid little difference little difference similarity c double o c double o present both sides one ch2 is present difference one ch2 is not present <coughs> this similarity of the malonic acid will make the malonic acid competitor of the succenic acid and succenic acid you know that uh, succenic acid will not be able to attach and malonic acid will be attached sometime due to which malonic acid will not be able to convert into fumarate and malonic acid will achieve its target because malonic acid target to stop the function of enzyme to stop the formation of the fumarate from the succenic acid and that is the competitive inhibitors so whenever you are doing any work the inhibitors will be there resistance will be there you have to remove those resistances and then you will be successful your body is your main resistance when you are studying your body will stop you you are going to offer pressure your body will stop you you have to remove the this resistance similarly you can see even the reactant substrates are feeling the inhibitors that malonic acid is the feeling the is making the resistance on the way of the succenic acid to form the fumarate resistance is not there life is not there you cannot move even air is a resistance you just remove the resistance of air then you move so air molecules when you move resistance air resistance is there so similarly you have to remove all resistances which are coming into success and definitely you will be able okay ji we are going to discuss another type of inhibitors non competitive inhibitors non competitive inhibitors are those their structure never resemble the active side but they think their position their position will be back side of enzyme yes when i was started the structure of enzyme i was telling you there are two sides there are two sides yes one is a active side and one is a allosteric side 
What was the definition of allosteric site? Inactive site of enzyme is called allosteric site. Inactive site of enzyme is called allosteric site. These non-competitive inhibitors, they attack allosteric site and allosteric site stop the active site to attach with the substrate. It is just like the same. When you will do wrong effort and any neighbor is not happy from you, neighbor will say, these are the kids here, they will not obey. Why not I go to the parent? Why not I go to the grandfather? Why not I go to his family members, his brother? So he will tell his brother, your son is doing adverse things and he is not doing good things in the, in, uh, he is just coming in the front of our homes and making more noise and playing cricket match. Please stop them. So might be that you will be more, uh, more uh, uh, implement those things which the neighbor want. When he will say you directly, you may not obey. But when your father will say you will obey. Similarly, college, say to your father, your son is not working out, they are not getting the good result. Your father will say you, that will be more workable for you. Reason because your father is paying the fee for you. Your father is more sensitive about your education. Teachers are sensitive. But your father, when you will say, you will be little more worried. My father is worried because of me. So that will be reason. Similarly, active side, similarly, non-competitive, non-competitive inhibitors, non-competitive inhibitors, Non-competitive inhibitors attack allosteric site. Attack allosteric site. Inactive site. Inactive site. Allosteric site. When it attack the allosteric site, it stop the active site. To resemble of this inhibitor, do not resemble with the substrate because mode of action is different. Mode of action is different. It is not attaching with the active site. It is not uh, uh, diffusing active site. So active site uh, will not receive the fake molecule. It will attach with allosteric site. The parent of the enzyme, which is main structure, globular, it will ask active site don't attach substrate. It will also stop. Now you are worried, sir, if these inhibitors are there and they will stop over chemical reaction, then we will not be able to survive. We are living. The result is we are living. This machine is not made much weaker by creator. So what is happening? There are two type of inhibitors. One is a reversible, one is a irreversible. Reversible mean that when they will attach like malonic acid, that is a reversible mean after some time malonic acid, active side will be winner and active side will get the idea. You are not succinic acid. Go out of active side. Malonic acid will go out and, and active side will invite succinic acid. Mr. Succinic acid, why you are weeping? You are come here. You are my, uh, you are my friend. Succinic acid will come and active side and succinic acid will combine to form the fumarate. So that's the point I am telling you. The resistance we can remove just like enzyme remove the resistance of conversion of the succinic acid into the fumarate. Rate. Some inhibitors are irreversible like some poisons mean that they will block the active sites completely. Those active sites will not be able to work uh, after that but you should not worry. Enzymes are protein. Even some enzymes are blocked properly but you enzymes are protein. They will be formed by ribosomes once again and when they will be formed by the ribosomes once again so once again uh, when the ribosomes uh, will form uh, an, uh, more protein, more enzymes will be formed. So if enzymes are lacking in our body, enzymes will be produced because protein formation process always continues in our cell. So these were some informations about inhibitors and coming up informations about denaturation once again when enzyme become denatured because denatured enzyme cannot work for the life.